Welcome back to the tale of Harriet Jung's survival in the tropical rainforests of the Rimworld. We rejoined the colony after the construction of the water mill which brought electricity to the base. Today's objective will be to expand the base and upgrade existing rooms. At 0900 hours of April May the 8th, Wheel is doing some amphibious hunting with his trusty war unicorn, Hypergig. As he returns home, Harriet and Teddy are sowing the last seeds to the cotton field. As Wheel continues his hunting runs, a crematorium is installed near the graveyard in order to dispose of corpses and free up the space held by the existing cemetery. At 0900 hours of the following morning, as a floor plan is designed for the upcoming base extension, a group of capybaras express their displeasure with being predated on by these imposing hominids. As one of their relatives was gunned down, Three more of the giant rodents rush towards Wheel. Thankfully, Hypergig's battle nose and supporting fire from Huckleberry's revolver make short work of the furry uprising. With numerous, albeit minor, lacerations, the hunters return their acquisitions to their headquarters. As the clock reaches 1600 hours, the graveyard's dissolution begins. By nightfall, the last remains are incinerated, and the unsavory work has left the colonists with a grim mood debuff. An hour short of midnight, Lions the Night Owl begins the structural overhaul and is joined by Harriet moments later. At four in the morning, Huckleberry wanders due to his melancholy. The sight of all those dead bodies was simply too disturbing for any empathetic soul. Work continues without interruption until 1600 hours, when a cobra slithers over to cause some disruption. Like a reptilian D-Day landing, the moment it hits the shore results in its death to a saturation of gunfire. Huckleberry returns from his pensive promenade at 20 hundred hours. Randy interjects early on the 11th of April May with a siege from the burglars. Their attempts at theft are certainly becoming more elaborate. Harriet and her cohorts decide to let the insurgents finish the mortar's assembly so that they can claim it for their own after the presumed success of their counterattack. They creep through the dense jungle, stalking their enemies, holding their fire until the right moment. At the top of the hour, Pixie's dynasty spreads out and unleashes hell. They isolate Adalia, who is wandering outside the defensive barriers. Dahlia is summarily annihilated. Mackie starts digging into cake as Hypergig beats on steel. As the squad rushes up to support their imposing guard dogs, the remaining two insurgents haul ass into the jungle. The spoils of war are looted, and the injured are tended to. No permanent injuries are sustained and the colony succeeds with a significant net gain from the encounter. Over the course of the day, supplies are ferried back to the base, and by nightfall, construction can resume on the new and improved living quarters. Huckleberry adds the finishing touches by dawn of the 12th, 
A gap in the structure is left open for temporary access. The rest of that day is committed to daily tasks such as hunting, cooking, cleaning, and other routine chores. As 0600 on April May the 13th arrives, a calm rainstorm soaks the jungle and the remaining building materials are out of the new rooms into new stockpiles. Randy makes amends for his rude interjections earlier by sending a psychic soothe to the women of Ark's banning salon as visitors from the Aban Bavexa Union make another appearance. Four of the residents now receive a plus 16 mood buff. Just before the departure of the unannounced guests, they gift the colony's negotiator with some apparel. Wheel, the only male in the colony, is granted a fancy lady's hat. With this comical gesture of generosity, the eighth chapter of Harriet's story comes to an end. Thank you for your attention. As usual, I must remind everyone that these can be hard times. I hope you're caring for yourselves and that I provide you with a pleasant distraction. For those of you who are doing well financially, please consider supporting this project and my efforts to bring you a brief respite from reality. Relevant links are in the video description. With that, I bid you farewell for now. I hope you are safe, healthy, and fulfilled. I will see you on the next one.